what is happening my name is chris and i also go by c dub and if you've never clicked on one of my videos i like to talk about intermittent fasting and a lot of times omad and kind of how that can impact your life in a positive way and i try to keep you updated with the latest information about intermittent fasting and eating one meal a day and i try to bring it to you because it helped me lose 125 pounds and it saved my life so i'm just turning you know paying it forward if you will and trying to help other people on their journeys get to the same place that i got and and thinking about that, one of the things we hear a lot about is weight maintenance. And is weight maintenance harder than actually losing weight? And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that because, you know, I, I lost the weight over two years ago now. And so I kind of wanted to, to reflect on that a little bit and, and bring to you what I think about weight maintenance versus weight loss. And a lot of people look at the weight loss part and they're like, well, this is the hard part. Maintaining is the easy part. And that's not necessarily true. I think maintaining can be as difficult or even more difficult than the weight loss. And so why, why is that? Why do we have issues holding it down? I mean, 98% of people gain all of the weight that they lost back within five years. So if you lose 100 pounds within five years, 98% are going to have gained that 100 pounds back. And that's a topic that we can't just brush over. And that goes across the board on all diets, including intermittent fasting. All situations, 98% of the people that do it are going to gain their weight back, which says something about maintenance. But I think that understanding the whole weight loss situation a little bit will help you in maintenance. And understanding that if you weigh in at 312 pounds like I did my very first weigh in when, uh, before my journey started in weight loss. And so looking at that, I had, my, my body's burning so much energy just to stay alive, to keep all of that going. If you imagine your insides are lined with all kinds of fat, you're carrying all kinds of fat, it's very difficult to move, and you're going to be burning a lot of energy just moving from point A to point B. So as your weight loss starts to go down, your body is now going to be burning less energy. So if you're taking in a, a, a decent amount of food that's making you lose weight, at some point, your body will balance and it will set a new set point of where you're at. You're burning as much energy as you're using. And that's a positive thing. That's what we all want. But a lot of times this is long before our goal is ever accomplished. So you might have a goal of getting under 200 pounds. And let's say at 240, now you're stuck and you can't lose any more weight. And that happens all the time to people. And then a lot of times they get frustrated and they backslide instead of continuing their weight loss journey further and making more adjustments. Because that's what this is always about. It's about looking where you're at and making adjustments to move it forward to lose the weight. And so, but if you look at 240 and you say, okay, well, now I'm, I'm stuck here. What do I got to do? Maybe I need to, you know, shrink my hours a little bit. Maybe I need to take my, my OMAD meal to 30 minutes instead of an hour. Maybe I need to fast one day a week. Maybe I need to um, cut out all desserts, whatever the case is, right? I don't know what your personal journey is, but you make an adjustment and the weight will start to lose again. So then you get down to where you finally hit your goal. The number one thing people do to mess that up is they get back off of that track and they go back and do kind of not in the beginning in the beginning they're doing what they do but they slip a little here and they slip a little there then then adjustment comes in life like a new job or a new spouse or a new you know kid comes in or whatever the case is something gets really busy something goes wrong you know in our situation even COVID-19 comes in and then boom you're hit and your life changes and you start to slip away from where you were at and then all of a sudden you look back and you've gained 20, 30, 40 pounds and you're so busy. You're like, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. I'll get back to it in a minute when things slow down. And the next thing you know, years and years have passed and the weight has gone all the way up now. And it's just as hard, if not harder, the second time around to lose it. So your body resists against it. You already feel like you've earned it once. You don't want to go through it again. And it becomes that kind of problem where you don't get back to where you need to be. But the bottom line is, is, so how do you avoid that? So not only do you constantly got to adjust, but you got to reevaluate yourself while you're in maintenance. You've got to sit back and say, okay, you know, I'm going to weigh myself once a week. And if that scale is moving up in consecutive weeks, you need to say, okay, well, what am I doing now that I can adjust, maybe cut out, maybe put myself back into a situation because my body's trying to reset its point higher than I want it to be, right? 
because at the end of the day, it really is a lot to do with how much you're eating versus how much you're burning. And I know a lot of people want to say, it's not calories in, it's not calories out, but that's a huge part of this. And so if you are gaining weight, you need to eat less. And now if you're eating at your minimum, you need to pick up the exercise. Everybody's di body's going to be different and every situation is going to be different. So you're going to have to navigate your way through maintenance with adjustments just like you would in a normal situation when you've lost, when you're losing the weight. The problem that I think people have is they set a goal in mind. And this is where I'm going to suggest that if you're lucky enough to make it to the point where you hit your goal, you, what, what happens is we set a goal. We say, look, I want to lose X number of weight, right? You fill in the blank for whatever your thing is. And when you get there, you make that the end of your destination. And you say, I've done it, and now I can start, I kind of know what's going on, but I can start, you know, wiggling a little here, wiggling a little there. And you never found something that you were comfortable doing from that day until the day they put you in the ground. And that is just a huge mistake, right? We have to take a step back from that kind of thinking. The kind of goal, this is the where I want to be, and when I get here, that's it is just a broken way because the goal should always adjust farther away. And that does not mean weight loss. I'm not saying that you need to get to, you wanna lose 100 pounds, you hit 100 pounds and you're like, I've done it, man. I feel like I look good in my clothes. I'm feeling healthy. I'm feeling better about myself. I'm good to be where I'm at right now, right? That's fine. But then it's gotta be, let me maintain it and make sure I never gain back more than five pounds. You know, make sure that I'm always within that range to where, you know, I've got that five pound window, right? And, and, and things like that, and looking at yourself and evaluating yourself, maybe add fitness goals slowly along the way. Every three months, make another goal, say, hey, look, I wanna get into a yoga class. I wanna go walking, I wanna do something. So you want to increase what you're doing at all times and pay attention to what you're eating and how it's affecting the scales over the course of about a week. And it's something you, is it more difficult? I don't know if it's more difficult than losing the weight. I don't know about that, but I know it's difficult and it's a different kind of difficult, but embrace it. And the main thing is find some kind of lifestyle. And I know that's a choice they throw around on TV and everywhere else all the time where they're like, change your lifestyle with this program, but you have to find one. Every single diet works. Every single fitness program works. You have to execute the program as designed and you also have to understand that just because it works for guy A doesn't mean it works for guy B, it still works though. And so, you know, you've got to find the one that you like that also works. And then you've got to make that who you are from the core all the way through. And if you can do that, you can have success in maintenance and you can have success in weight loss. So if you have been able to maintain your weight and you have any advice at all, leave me a comment down below so you know I can add it to future videos that I give advice about, but also so that the community can see, hey, look, there's another person that's lost weight and this is what they think. Because each and every one of us is a little bit different and if we can all learn together, we can grow together. All right, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you choose to click on one of these videos, but no matter what you do, please click right there because that'll make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Then you can hit that little bell at the end there and get all the information you need from me moving forward. I appreciate each and every one of you. And you know what? I'm so nice. I'm not even going to charge you. All right, guys, talk to you on the next one. Peace.